When a teacher tells a student to begin writing, there is often a storm that begins. The key, according to me, Ben Franklin, is to organize yourself. You never know when lightning strikes on a great idea. Give yourself some time. My electricity experiments were always very public and wide open. If you can actually see your thoughts, they will become more real to you. Post them up. Sit back and study them. Reflect, revise, review, and then organize your ideas into groups. Make some cuts if need be. Capital! Top shelf! Science is also very much the same. Test your thoughts and see what can work in order to prove your point. Remember, most of brainstorming is experimenting. Ah, you must have found me here in Transylvania. You followed the map. Very good. If you can follow the map, you can organize your thoughts. Ah, ah, ah. Right now, you must be asking yourself two things. How did I ever find this guy? And, more importantly, how do I begin a mind map? Let's have a look. Ah, my curious traveler, the mind map is all about the details, much like Transylvania. Where can I get a good werewolf? Let's fill in the details. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, you're probably wondering... How do we take these subtopics and the details and make a story or an essay? Ah, ah, ah. Very simple, my curious traveler. Your subtopics will become your paragraphs. Much like I'm going to become a bat. Ah, ah, ah. Hey kids, I'm a visual guy like a lot of you. There's nothing I like better than a full moon or a flash of lightning. Stay tuned, I'm going to post up a mind map for all of you to see. State your problem, then think about the different solutions you could use to solve that problem, and don't let your imagination stand in the way. Some of your ideas might be out of this world, but that's okay. Create a chart with three headings. What's possible? what might be possible, and what's impossible. Don't be shy. Share your ideas with other people. 
what you think might be impossible might be very possible for someone else. Failure ideas to other people, you might be surprised. Nine score and some years ago, I started wearing these stovepipe or plug hats. What's that got to do with brainstorming? Well, sir or ma'am, when you are brainstorming, you might want to put someone else's hat on. That's called perspective. Let's say that you are in some sort of a civil dispute with someone else, and you want to know what their background, their feelings, and their perspective on the problem is. You are effectively putting on their hat. You will feel empathy for this person. You will dislike and like some of their opinions, but this is putting on their hat and seeing their point of view. You are, in essence, walking a mile in their shoes. Now, ideally, we want the better angels of our nature to prevail. So, even though we may disagree with someone and we try to empathize, it is our certain right that we may disagree, but do so in a polite manner. Look at their point of view, see what they think, and disagree or agree. But this is how we learn to brainstorm and solve our problems in a decent way. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video on brainstorming. If you thought this video was scary, try writing without a plan. Whoa. Anyway, next time you're by the castle, come by and say hi to my wife, Creepella. In case you want, knock on the door for a cup of red ants.